With Kenshin's withdrawal, the Battle of Kawanakajima ended in victory for the Takeda army. Seizing this opportunity, Shingen began his march to the capital, but impeding his path was Ieyasu Tokugawa, the Lord of Mikawa. Alright, so here's the next stage, the Battle of Mika Takahara. Uh, you already know the story because you've just seen it. So, the objectives, well in this case, we have to defeat Ieyasu Tokugawa. And if Shigen Takeda falls, if I die, or if the time runs out, we lose. The weapon will change the weapon to the cross spear that we just obtained. So there we go. Items, honestly, these are the worst items I could be looking for right now. There are three items I really want to try to go for, and unfortunately my failed uh, kind of uh, attempt at this list effect, I actually got all three on my first shot. So, <laughs> just my luck, right? And uh, it's Friday the 13th when I'm actually recording. So, anyways. Uh... I'll go with the Cloak of Might, that's it. The Bodyguards I'll keep. Uh, so for the Takeda army, you have Shingen Takeda, Kasuyori Takeda, Yukimura Sanada, which is me, and Konoichi, Nobufasa Baba, Masatoyo Nato, Masekage Yamagata, Nobushige Oyamada, and Nobukimi Aniyama. For the Tokugawa army, you have Ieyasu Tokugawa and Naomasa I, Tadakatsu Honda, Borotada Tori, Yasumasa, uh, Yasumasa Sakebara, Tadasuke Okubo, Tagasugo Sakai, Kazumasu Takigawa, and Nobu Mori Sakuma, Hirohide Hirate, and Kazumasu Ishikawa. Alright. Let's do it. Why do we not lay siege to Ieyasu's castle? If we let him be... Wars should not be waged trivially. I suppose it is hard for one so young to comprehend that. Draw them in! Do not charge out carelessly! We shall be as immovable as the mountain! Oyamada, begin your attack! Let us see what you are made of then, Ieyasu! Alright, so this stage is a bit of, bit of a key, uh, bit of a game changer, so to speak. So, the goal right now is to actually defeat this guy over here. Uh, yeah, Kazumasa. If you actually get them to the X, you'll fuck up the mission. So, make sure you don't do that. Of war. All right. We shall attack like fire. I need to get ready because there'll be someone that will retreat. Oh, there we go. 
We must inform Lord Nobunaga. Retreat. All right, now he's gonna withdraw. <laughs> the rats are running out. We can still catch them. Also, something that I'm pretty sure you have realized now. In this game, you actually have different type of uh, profile emotions. Like, you'll see different types of expressions on their faces. But uh, let me make sure I actually find the right guys. Alright, that's the officer. So he's right by me. And there we go. So, Noble Mori is defeated. I'm not going to go for that guy just yet. I'm, what's that? No, it wasn't. But still, we got to go for the other guy quickly before he goes to Nobunaga. As in Nobunaga Oda. Yeah, be careful because they will perform Musu attacks in this game. And even troops will perform Musu attacks. Wait, huh? Did he just perform a second one? Was that troops? And they'll try to get their health back. It's very apparent. And you know when exactly when they will try to get the health back. So be careful with that. Alright, there we go. That was a flop right there. If I haven't seen one. Alright, there we go. Moving on. Enemy officer defeated. Mustn't let others take all the glory. Yeah, he's gonna start to retreat. I suppose I could have, but I think I can stand the way more. About war and leadership. However, we're not gonna do that. I mean, most likely we're gonna be losing that mission because you see Hanzo over there talking. Well, he's gonna go and assassinate. Shingen Takeda. And here's the thing. There's nothing we can really do about that. Shit. Is that Tadakatsu? Yeah. So there's Tadakatsu Honda. If you're playing the Extreme Legends version, you're going to have a much more difficult time facing him. Because he is actually a playable in Extreme Legends and onwards. Same our words. Two, three, four all that so oh boy yeah those strike ninjas suck they send you fucking flying and there you go on to you. Alright, unfortunately, Hanzo will go to Ieyasu with that. And, uh, they're gonna try to reach the main camp. If they reach the main camp, that will become the new defeat objective. I'll show that to you in a second. So, that's the new defeat objective. I don't know why it says Tokugawa in blue. Meanwhile, you know for the fact that the Tokugawa army should be in red. Because they're the enemy, not the uh, ally. Anyways. So there you go. Also know I should bring up with Ieyasu Tokugawa. He's a unique character on its own when it comes to this game because Ieyasu is not a generic. However, he is a non-playable either. So you won't be able to really play as him until Samurai Warriors 2. Defeated. 
also note there'll be certain times where you're just gonna have to let certain officers go and go for the commander. In this case, I think I might have to. But we'll see. Like I said, for the fact that we let Shingen fall, and for the fact that um, Hanzo reached Ieyasu, if you were going through Kunoichi stage of this, you could actually stop Hanzo from even reaching Ieyasu. And when it comes to stopping Hanzo from defeating Shingen, as of right now, he can't do shit about that, unfortunately. So, uh, basically, every time you go through the stage, you pretty much have no option but to watch uh, Shingen fall. But there is a way to stop that, but I'll talk about that after I complete the stage. Alright, now Master is down. Hanzo's down. Now go for Ieyasu. So he's the only one left. We don't have to worry about uh, Yeah, we don't have to worry about him trying to reach the main camp. I think he's gonna get a little bit of health back. Oh no he didn't. I'll take it. And he's down. We cannot continue the march to the capital. We will have to turn back for now. Determination breeds victory. And that's a win. All right. So that's another stage down. Um. There's going to be a little bit more I'm going to have to say with this stage afterwards, but I'll talk about that in a sec. So, our clear time is 7 minutes and 26 seconds. Not that bad. A much shorter stage in comparison. Um, I'm definitely discarding that. Ooh, a third tier weapon. I'll take that. Uh, just for fucks and laughs. Anyways, so now we have the wind gloves, which is your Huang's bow, so to speak. But, obviously, every character is range weapon could be different it could be a bow and arrow it could be a rifle it could be a cannon it all depends on the actual character you're playing as so keep that in mind and we have a cloak of might at plus two which we don't need Himiko's rune that's your tourist amulet so to speak and we have a plus two and a plus one so we're gonna keep the plus two anyways Here's our bodyguard experience totals right here. Here's our experience totals. So we got an S in clear time, B in item experience bonus, C in mission completion, and Usu KOs. So not half bad. Now that will give us a lot more skill points. I'll definitely... Uh, I'll add fitness, which will give you an additional effect on the healing items. So, also note, you could actually level them up even higher. I think the highest for most are either 3 or 4. In some cases, you'll be able to do it once, and that's it. So, healing items will have more effect, and the effect ranges from, I can tell you this because I know, um, it goes from 25% to 50%, and then 100%. So your plus 50s could potentially be plus 100s. Your plus 100s could be, or your rice ball, that would be an additional 100 health, will be 200. And then the multiple rice balls could be, instead of being 200, it could possibly be 400. It all depends on how much uh, or, high, or how high your level is in fitness. So anyways, 
the other I, uh, the other skills that we unlocked are fortitude, which is your uh, defender, so to speak. If you fall down and you're near red health, you'll be able to get double defense for a bit. Uh, and we also have uh, Cavalier, which is your mounted attack power increases. So you can actually increase the amount of attack even higher than uh, it was originally. So you got attack that made double and oh yeah, let me add Vigor. It'll help you with Deadlocks. I haven't shown or explained Deadlocks yet because you haven't seen it. However, it will be a lot easier for you to determine who wins and who loses. But when you see one, you'll definitely know. Anyways, I'll leave it like that. We're good to go. We'll save. But before I sign off, I do want to show you something here. So, as I said in the first stage, there was a lot for me to say. But if you recall, I said certain missions you'll be able to alter the stage a little bit and it may change your actual objective or potentially change your actual defeat objective so in this case that's exactly what it did here but in other cases it will actually change just waiting for it to load the pathway of what where of that that was terrible but anyways it'll basically change your pathway in the story so with that being said how to get to the other one well here's the thing you actually have to go and complete Shingen Takeda's story it doesn't matter which one because you also have a branch pathway just like Yukimura not every character will have different branch ways some characters will have multiple endings more than just two um, Yukimura has three different endings technically and I will unlock all of them and I will be treating each ending like their own Musa mode pathway so once I complete it once and I go for another ending I'm gonna start with the battle of Kawanakajima again and then repeat the process and get the other ending and so on and so forth anyways so in order to get to get yeah, in order to get the other pathway you have to complete Shingen Takeda's story first. It doesn't matter which one you do. Then come back here, play the battle of Mika Takahara, and then you'll be able to discover and detect where Hanzo Hattori is. And you actually have to stop him from assassinating Shingen. And if you do that, complete the stage, you'll be able to go to the bottom path. But like I said, not every character will have a branch pathway. Each character's story is unique in their own way, and uh, I will explain to you how each and every one of them works. But uh, I'll talk about that when we actually get there. But until then, you have been watching my gaming adventures featuring Samurai Warriors, and I'll see you in the next part where we'll go and play or get through the Battle of Nagashino. So with that being said, peace out.